So let's figure out how to navigate around this app, shall we? First things first, we are going to look at zooming and moving around in the uh, arrangement view here, or the arranger view as it's known in the manual. Zooming is fairly easy. You simply can hover your mouse over this top bar here, and you see it's turned into a magnifying glass. And I can drag up to zoom in and down to zoom out. While I'm doing that, I can also move right or left. This helps you to be able to zoom in to uh, any content that may have gone out of the way of the screen while you're moving. If I hold down Alt and use my mouse wheel, I can scroll left and right, as you can see here. If I hold down Control and Alt or Control Option, I can zoom in with my mouse wheel, a feature which is very, very handy. I'll be using this one a lot. You probably will as well. So I'm going to zoom out and there's the loop brace up here. You can simply click and drag anywhere in the loop brace to uh, move it around. If you want to create a new loop brace of any length, you can uh, hover this area here to get the pencil tool, click and drag, and you will create a new loop brace. You can toggle that again by using this. You can see the loop turning on and off. Now down here in the bottom right, you can see that we have this one-to-one, -one, ST, and these wacky little icons here. What we're going to look at first is the uh, auto grid setting. This is the adaptive grid. So it will adjust the grid automatically for you as you zoom in and out. So you can see here I'm at a 1-1. One, one, and if I zoom in, then the grid still stays the same length. Now if I turn on adaptive grid, all of a sudden I get all these subdivisions coming in as I zoom in and out. Well, they disappear, and you can see here now we're back to one bar. Zooming in again, you can get all the way down to 30 seconds. There's 60 fourths if you look here in the bottom, 128, 256, all the way up to ridiculousness. Okay, so we're not going to do any uh, super crazy micro glitch editing today, so we can either take that off and adjust this down to 16ths automatically, or you can use the handy keys, which is the um, comma and the period on your keyboard and you can see here as I cycle through them with the comma and the period. This uh, ST right here lets you switch between um, straight and triplets and other odd beat divisions so you can use your mouse to scroll those up and down. And now we come to these three icons which are actually pretty cool. So I'm going to demonstrate what each of these do. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here and I'm going to press 3 to get to my pen tool. I'm going to draw in a one bar clip just randomly. First of all, I'm going to turn all these off. And you can see now that if I go to my selection tool, move this around, it's not snapping. I can move it anywhere really, and it, uh, it doesn't snap to anything. This uh, first one is the absolute snapping, and this will, when it's on, snap to your grid, which we previously defined. So this is why adjusting your grid can be so handy, because you can snap things to it and get as precise or imprecise as you want. The second one, I'm going to toggle this one off. I'm going to turn the second one on. Now this is the relative one. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this here. Okay, so see it's not on any line in particular. Now if I go to move it, you can see that it's snapping to a place relative to this. So say it's halfway in between one of these markers. Now it snaps, again, halfway in between any marker. So it's keeping the relative position of it. Again, very handy if you're doing odd kind of uh, arrangements and scattered one shots and whatnot. Snap to objects, uh, this will snap to, guess what? Objects. So if I create another object here, move this one there, boom, you see it snaps right to it. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. So I like, uh, you can kind of keep all three of them on at once. And uh, depending on what you're doing, it should adjust to it automatically. If you don't like what it's doing, you can hold down the shift key. So you see here I'm holding down shift and it's not snapping to anything. And I can get very fine movements. And that's just holding down shift. Uh, if I let go of shift, I'm back to normal again. So that is the lower snapping and uh, division, subdivision beat grid. Now, if you ever get lost using key commands, you have this handy, handy little function here called the commander, which is accessed right here by control enter. So I press control enter 
I get the commander. Now, you can't define custom key commands in Bitwig Studio, but you can view all of them without having to crack open some clunky PDF and flick away from the app. Also, this comes with a search bar. So if I type in zoom, you can see that yes, I can use plus and minus to zoom in and out, or I can use shift minus or shift plus, and it's just a very, very handy way of seeing what all the key commands are. And as you can see, as I scroll through them, there's quite a bit of key commands. But that's good. Key commands help speed up your workflow, and uh, after a while, they become second nature. You can use the scroll bars down here to scroll in the content. You can grab the ends to zoom in and out as well. You'll see my cursor changes to a double arrow there, and uh, I can zoom in and out. And likewise, if I had many tracks, if I just duplicate all those, you'll see I get a scroll bar appearing on this side of the screen as well and uh, you can scroll up and down with that. You can zoom in, track sizes are fixed. You get uh, this size or a shrunk down smaller version of the tracks and uh, that's it. So you can see here, if I click this button, this is the secondary track view. So this will give you the normal size tracks, which you can see waveforms and whatnot in the right side, or the shrunk down view. Um, you can't zoom in and out of them, unfortunately. So that's the general navigation overview. You now have enough tools to navigate around the program. And I will see you in the next video.